Hey, what's up everybody? Derek here from Hooked on Fishing for Real. In this episode, I'm going to go over my top five most productive fishing lures that I like to use personally that get me hooked onto those fish every time. But before I get started, let me just say the lures that I'll be talking about in this tutorial, I am in no way affiliated with any of these brands. It's just my own opinion from my personal experience using each one. So I will go over the pros and cons of each one, the best way to rig it, and when to use it. So stick around for this in-depth tutorial to help you become better acquainted with using different lures to improve your fish catch ratio. All right, before we get started, let me just say for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome and thanks for stopping by. I hope you find value in this channel and helping you improve your fishing knowledge. Make sure you click on that subscribe button below and be sure to click that bell and make sure your notifications are turned on so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. And as always, if you like this video and found it very helpful, much love and appreciate it if you hit that like button. All right, let's dig in. So here in front of me, I have my top five most productive fishing lures. And I'm gonna go down the line here and talk about each one and where they rank in order from one through five. Now, let me just say this. Just because I rank one lure over another doesn't mean that that lure is better than the other. It's just my way of how I classify them according to how often I use them. But either of these lures will work. All right, so number one on the list, I have the Orace Micro Metal Spoon Lure. This is an all season lure, guys, and will catch you a variety of different types of fish species ranging from tuna to mackerel, cobia, um, snook, uh, redfish. I mean, it catches them all. And that's why this is my number one now. My number one used to be the Doc Scoofy Jig, but the reason why I switched to this is because it takes me minimum amount of time to catch a lot of fish using this versus the Doc Scoofy Jig. With the Doc Scoofy Jig, it takes me a little bit longer, uh, except for if I'm um, fishing for pompano. If it's pompano season, this is my go-to jig. But my all around season jig 99 percent of the time when i'm out doing inshore fishing this is what i'm using this is what i'm throwing and they come in a pack of 12 you get them off of amazon uh, they come in various weight sizes this is a, a 17 gram but they range anywhere from 7 gram all the way up to uh 40 gram i believe and here's a quick tip guys if you, to determine what size lure to use it's based on the depth you're fishing in so if you're fishing in let's say um five feet of water, then you should be throwing a five gram lure. If you're fishing in 10 feet of water, you should be throwing a 10 gram lure and so forth. Uh, but that's how you determine the correct lure weight. Um, but you know, back to this, what I love about these, it has a nice shiny coat of paint on it and it's solid, it does not chip. Um, and that's one of the things about the Doc Scoofy jig, I noticed like if I'm hopping it along the bottom of the seafloor, uh, by the time I get home, this thing is beat up. It's got a lot of uh, paint chips in it. But these uh, Orace Metal Spoon lures here, the paint is so solid on there and it's a good coat of paint that uh, it's very hard to chip. And I like the holographic foil design on it too. It really gets those uh, fish attention. This really looks like a really nice shiny um, thread fin in the water that's struggling to, you know, struggling to stay alive. <laughs> that's what it looks like. And uh, man, I just like the look of this in the water column. Now, when you get these, they come with a uh, treble hook on the bottom here, and then this uh, single assist hook is usually up at the top. And what I like to do is I take out the treble hook, and then I take the assist hook that was on the top, and I just put it on the bottom here. And then up here at the top, I add a split ring and a barrel swivel. And that's pretty much it, guys. And the reason why I take out the, the treble hook is because uh, I had some of these before and I never switched out the treble hook and I was getting snagged on the bottom a lot and I couldn't free my line, I had to cut and I was losing my lures. So I went to this method and now when I do get stuck, I'm still able to free it so I don't lose uh, lures. And uh, fish seem to like this as well because it has this on this uh, tassel here, it has some crystal flash on it and uh, it really gets their attention. And like I said, guys, um, I caught a lot of fish on this lure in a short amount of time versus using that Doc Sufi jig lure. Um, so definitely a must to have in your tackle box. All right, moving down to number two here. Uh, used to be my number one, <laughs> the uh, Doc Sufi jig. And, uh, you know, there's nothing really bad I can say about this jig. 
I've caught a lot of pompano in this jig, and that's mainly what I use this jig for now, is fishing for pompano. Um, but I used to use it as an all-season jig, and I was catching uh, mangrove snapper on it. Um, I've caught my biggest redfish on this. I caught black sea bass, uh, sand perch, so, and ladyfish. I lost a lot of these to ladyfish, <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> but um, th you can't go wrong with these Dr. Goofy jig. It's just another one to have uh, in your tackle box. You know, I always say diversify your tackle box. <laughs> have many options. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, so yeah, this is a 3 8 ounce um, Goofy jig here, and that's mainly the size weight that I usually fish with. Now, if it's a little windy out and a little rough, I usually go up to like a half ounce but th that's high as I go and you see on here I have a, a, a teaser fly that I attach to it it just gives it a little bit more better presentation in the water column and really makes it look like an escaping uh, sand flea to those pompano to get them curious to come over and chase it and the best way to rig this is to use a loop knot you see I got a loop knot here so definitely have these in your taco box which I'm pretty sure 99% of you who's watching this has got these Doc's Goofy Jigs and has already uh, used them before. Alright, moving down the list here, my number three, we have the Finesse TRD by Z-Man. This lure, I just started um, experimenting with this lure like six months ago and uh, uh, this thing, I, what I love about it is very durable, uh, it can withstand those toothy fish and will not get broke off. Um, also, um, um, it comes in a variety of colors. My top three colors are the dill, which is this color, the fire crawl color, and the slam shady color. Now, um, if you guys seen that video already, I caught my biggest snook that I've ever caught on this TRD. It was the fire crawl color. And I was only throwing it in like probably four feet of water. So these things are deadly, guys. The way they work, um, you know, when you're jigging them, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, these things, the way they work, they like, you hop it along like this, and if there's current, this tail is just moving in the current, and it really strikes up the curiosity in those fish. And they cannot help themselves but come and check it out. So uh, definitely a must to have in your tackle box, guys. And this is a lure to have, like, when you've thrown all other lures and nothing's biting, Throw this one, I guarantee you, uh, you'll strike up the bite again. Now, the, the type of hook you need with these is, I like the uh, Ned Lock Z uh, jig hook. Uh, this is the 1 10th ounce, and I found this, this to be the correct weight for this. Uh, it does not allow it to fall very quickly, and it really gives it, um, you know, a natural-like buoyancy look in the water column and to uh, strike up curiosity for those fish to come over and check it out. So guys, definitely a must in your tackle box. Moving down the list here, we got number four, another one by Z-Man. Man, Z-Man puts out, they put out great products, they do, and I, and I love their products. This is the uh, Shrimp Z. Now this is a greasy prawn color. I like this color because it really looks uh, close to the real thing. Um, and they already come pre-rigged. You see this already got a, a pre-rigged with the weight on lead weight on there. So it's already balanced. And so you don't have to fool around with trying to figure out what's, what, what type of hook to use for these. I mean, it's already balanced, guys. So all you got to do is tie a line on and throw it out there. Now you can use a popping cork with these or you can just throw it out there and free line it. Now I've only used these probably maybe mm, three or four times. I haven't really used them that much. Uh, but I do have them in my tackle box. But for the time that I've had thrown them, I like the way uh, these look in the water when I throw them. They have a nice slow fall presentation that really looks like a shrimp. And I've had a lot of fish come up and bump this and uh, check it out. I've even caught some fish on it. Uh, I just haven't had a, a really enough time to really um, uh, you know, play with it. But this year, I'm definitely going to play with this more. Um, now, the only thing I wish that these lures had that came with, I wish Z-Man would, uh, you know, uh, kind of add a scent to these, like, you know, like the Berkeley Gulp. <laughs> but, you know, maybe that's in the, uh, in the future for Z-Man products. Maybe they will, um, they will scent their shrimps, you know, their shrimp. I know they, they scent uh, their paddle tails, but um, I have not found one of their shrimp brands that, uh, that they add a scent to, and this would be a nice feature to add a scent to this. But 
uh, with this lure in this cavity here, you can actually add, if you have some Dr. Juice, you can add that to it, or you can add some Pure Cure uh, shrimp scent to it as well. And so that will work just as fine. But like I said, these things are very durable. They can withstand those toothy fish and um, get a nice presentation in the water that attracts fish. So definitely a must in your tackle box, guys. Definitely a must. And last on the list, we have the Berkeley Gulp Swimming, um, swimming Mullet. <laughs> and what I like about this is that um, it has a nice solution that this come in, send a solution um, that attracts fish like crazy. It's like a fish magnet. The only downfall of using this lure is that um, it's not that durable. And so you're going you're gonna to probably go through a bag of these uh, just and out uh, when you're out fishing. So you probably want to have at least two bags of these on standby because uh, when, these, when the toothy fish come and grab this, they break the tail in half. And so then you don't have, it, you lose this action, right? But these things are deadly in the water because they definitely catch fish. I've caught, when I moved here five years ago, this is the first lure I started throwing. And I was throwing the five inch. Now this is the four inch. I was throwing that five inch and guys, I was catching all kind of fish species on that lure. The only downfall, like I said, the tail kept getting broke, broke off. So that's why it's number five on my list. Uh, now if Berkeley can come up with a way to make these as tough as a Z-Man, but keep that same um, fish attractant solution that they have with these, this will probably be my number two on the list. But right now it's my number five. Um, now how you want to rig these is, this is a quarter ounce uh, uh, trout eye jig head. Now uh, this is the short shank. So this will be great for the four inch. Uh, if you have a five inch, you, you can probably use a quarter ounce uh, long shank um, trout eye jig head. Um, but either one will work uh, for the uh, five inch, but on the four inch, definitely you need the short shank quarter ounce trout eye jig head. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful. If you did, much love to appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments section if you really enjoyed this and found it very helpful. Uh, that's all I have for you now. Uh, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great week, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.